today on Atmosphere of Love. Discovery. Love is more than the best multivitamins. Love is more, more efficient, more reliable than the sunlight. By scientific discoveries, I am not quoting Don't for you scriptures away. here. Atmosphere I'm of Love will continue you. shortly. Joy to the world. It is Christmas time again. Apostle Edmonds and Prophetess Joanna O'Quaraday wishes all their partners, friends, supporters, viewers of Atmosphere of Love TV program, and the esteemed family and members of Love Embassy of All Nations a very happy Christmas, and a purpose-fulfilling New Year. Don't give up on your purpose. The Lord Jesus Christ was born so that man will no more die in sin which eats up our purpose in the human race. Be your best this new year. Merry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Atmosphere of Love This is Atmosphere of Love. The next few minutes will revolutionize your thinking and change your life. Now let's join Apostle Edmund Zokorde as he ministers God's love in a hurting world. On Sunday, we dropped out the key of love. How many of us remember that? Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. You follow. And on uh, Sunday, we dropped out the key of love. Also, Wednesday, we couldn't uh, <laughs> consummate. Uh, we couldn't uh, exhaust the key of love. And uh, But I, I believe we'll be able to exhaust it in this service. And... Um, um, cover all we should cover in this service and go to the next key so you go to the next key so i'll refresh your mind again we said revelation is uncovering revelation is uncovering. yes disclosure when something opens and we also said revelation doesn't come by knowledge revelation comes by the holy spirit the holy spirit gives you the revelation of who of Jesus Christ. We saw it in Matthew's Gospel, which we're going to open with, chapter 16, reading from verse 16. We saw it was the Heavenly Father who gave the revelation to Peter. And we also saw in the book of Galatians, chapter 1, it was the Holy Spirit, the Heavenly Father, who gave the revelation to Paul, the Apostle. You see? So it is the Holy Spirit that gives this revelation. And I said, when you have revelation, I said, pride is impossible. You, you will not have pride. It's not possible to have pride with revelation. Because the things are disclosed. The things are disclosed. Now, that is not to say the devil will not tempt you with pride. He will tempt you with pride. But it's so revealed that pride really doesn't make sense if you received revelation. Amen. So revelation is a disclosure, revelation is uncovering. I told you in the first, very first one, introduction, I told you the Greek word for revelation is apocalypsis, uncovering, apocalypsis. I made stunning statements like this, everything God created, he created them on the foundation of revelation. I said even Job's career they have their foundation, which is their revelation. I say you cannot be called an engineer, you cannot be called a doctor until you have full access to that revelation. Now, some people <coughs> have um, <coughs> successfully done some uh, gimmicks and they got the certificate and then they are called that. But when they will finally know that they really don't have the revelation is when they have to practice it. Hello? You have to practice your profession. Am I correct? Uh, it is not just you put it on the chest, the engineer. Mm -hmm. You have to practice engineering. When you start practicing engineering, you will now know those who truly have revelation of engineering reality. So, I laid that foundation so that we can understand the revelation of Jesus Christ is not something that is so spiritual and so far, something that we cannot get until we fast. No, the Holy Spirit will give you revelation.
so long as your heart is open. God's love, as I want to round it off, I want to round it off with the scientific discoveries about love. We have been taught, we have found out through scientific research that love is a lifestyle. Love is what? Lifestyle. It's not a movie. It's not a holiday experience. It's not a relationship. Even though a branch in love has to have relationship. But love is not relationship. God the Bible tells us who is love? God is love. God is love. Amen. And so I'm going to close the key of love with the discoveries, scientific discoveries. Science <coughs> reveals to us that the human body is wired for love. That's the study of the brain. The study of the brain, scientists have discovered that the human body was created to love, created for love. Now, whenever the human body functions outside of love, there is a chaos, and I'm going to explain it. You all understand it this morning? Say amen. Now, love is a life. Love is not a fruit, just a fruit. When the Bible says the fruit of love, it's talking about the life coming out. Hello? That's it, the fruit. Okay. But love is not fruit. But love has fruit. Amen? The Bible says God is love. God is not fruit. Is God fruit? No. In that context, God is not fruit. But there is a way you live a godly life will be able to see the fruit of what? Love. So today, I bring these scientific discoveries to you so you can make strong resolutions, so you can make a strong decision about how you want your life to be. When you walk in love, many prayers or many prayer points are unnecessary. <coughs> when you resolve to love, because by the scientific discovery, love is more than the best multivitamins. Love is more, more efficient, more reliable than the sunlight. By scientific discoveries, <coughs> I am not quoting for you scriptures yet. I'm trying to give to you, naturally, what the scientists have discovered about love. You will value the words of your Lord and Master, Jesus Christ, more as we go into the scientific discoveries of love. The first point I made was the human body was created for love, to love, not someone, not someone, not to love someone. To live a lifestyle of love. It's a lifestyle. It's not a holiday experience. It's not a summer holiday experience. It's not a winter holiday experience. It's not a seasonal choice. It's a lifetime decision. Amen. Amen. And so science went further to say the discoveries of the brain. Okay, the capacity of the brain. This is where the the purpose of the human body was unveiled. In the, in the study of the brain, scientifically, <coughs> the scientists say the brain has so much space that it can save more than a million years of information. The brain has so much space. You're talking about one TB. This is God's TB. <laughs> I mean, if it is TB, I don't know what uh, measurement we can use for it. Terminology, you know, measurement terminology. This is not a TB at all. You see, millions of years, your brain can save information of millions of years. The brain has that much capacity. This is where I shout in my seminars in the secular world, any education. Any human being that certify a human being with such capacity of the brain as failure, that education is 
a failure. It's a failure because he cannot understand the capacity of the human brain. He wants to put the human brain in one type of thinking. In the study of the human brain, the scientist tells us the brain is divided into seven portions, signifying the seven perfect number of God, showing you that the brain has seven pillars of wisdom. The Bible makes us understand that. And the brain is divided into seven parts. How many parts? Seven. Whenever any individual set their eyes or ears to any information, they, are you listening? Yes. They absorb, they observe, they process what they see in different patterns. Scientists have come to know that. Now, scientists have discovered that the brain works on information as unique as your thumbprint. So who in this world will turn off your brain because of mathematics? Are you here? Say she's a dull girl. Why? She's called zero in mathematics. You are forcing her brain to think in a certain principle. And because she's not able to cope just at the present, you are certifying her as failure. That educational system is a failure and is very limited. So the brain has unlimited capacity. The brain is a physical creature of God's divine power. It shows us, it's a physical creature showing us how the unseen God has unlimited power. You remember the word omniscient? Yes. You remember the word omnipotent? Yes. These are characteristics that our brain, our brain tells us of God. It's a physical organism, physical creature by God to show how God is, who he is, to show it to us. Amen. <coughs> Hallelujah. That is the, the brain, the brain, the brain. And you know what's so funny? It's, it's very small. <laughs> the feast, you know. And so much capacity. So much capacity. So you can tell your friend, my size is not my capacity. So the, the one who look beyond the sizes is a wise person. Now it doesn't mean we should become, uh, <laughs> my size is not my capacity, Pastor. And I say, I you are watching Atmosphere of Love. Stay tuned. We will be right back. Satisfy the human heart. Money cannot satisfy the human heart. Pleasure cannot satisfy the human heart. Comfort cannot satisfy the human heart. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human heart. Jesus is the Son of God. He is the Word of God made flesh. God's Word made flesh. And He walked the earth. And He faced the things that we're facing, passed through the difficulties that we passed through, and was without sin, the Bible says. He was without sin. He was a sinless. The seed of God's Word became flesh. And he died on the cross for my sins and for your sins. And the Bible says, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. The name of the Lord Jesus. You can call upon that name wherever you are and you can be saved today. If you are not yet born again, we invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying this prayer. O Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. I now have Christ dwelling in me. I am a new creation. Hallelujah. If you have just said that prayer, congratulations. You are now a child of God. 
To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by calling any of the numbers displayed on your screen or visit our website. Nothing entirely in this world can satisfy the human. This is Atmosphere of Love. Welcome back, let's join Apostle Edmund Zocorde as he continues to share the message of God's love. So the brain, the brain, scientific discovery of the brain, unveiling the secret key of God's love. The brain, the brain. This is touching, so I want to, want to come a little closer. Yes, it is very touching. Scientists discovered that 90% of illnesses, 90% of illnesses, sicknesses, they are connected to the way you think. The study of the brain. 90% of illnesses. The question would be, are you saying that the diabetes I got from my father, and that my father got from his father, and that his father got from his father, are you saying it's the way we think? The answer is yes. Now, I'll prove it to you. Science shows and confirms that every thought you think is a manufacturer of a chemical. Every thought we think manufactures chemical that secretes in our human body. Chemical. Our thoughts produce what? Chemical. Chemicals that is circulated in our human body. The brain was made for only positive thoughts, only love thoughts, only good thoughts. Now you can understand that when God created everything, it was good. Now you understand it very well. Now whenever your brain thinks what is not good, it produces similar chemicals for your body. I don't know if you're following me. When, for example, people think it is legitimate to worry. Some of my friends here, they think it is very legitimate to worry. They think, uh, you know, um, my daughter, no, she's going to be 30. Proposal is not come. Proposal is not come. Okay. You hear something? It starts moving. Jesus told us in Matthew's Gospel 5 and 6, don't worry. You remember? Yes. He's helping you, giving you the manual of the machine inside that your kokoro skull. <laughs> yeah, it's the manual of the machine there. Don't worry. That machine does not work with the software of worry. That is antivirus. That is virus, pardon. Antivirus is God's word. That's virus. It contaminates the capacity of the brain. And then the study of the brain showed us, I wish I can just bring this doctor, you know, oh, that gave us such a beautiful uh, information. Dr. Caroline Leaf. Oh, anyway. So, the, the studies went further to say that Incidences in your life that you cannot forget have formed trees in your mind. And we know that trees bear fruit, no? Yes. So I'm just thinking of how many trees are all here now. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just imagining. Ooh, you. Ooh. And some of us only will not forget the sexual abuse that we went through in childhood. What kind of tree is that? get ready, is going to secrete harmful chemicals in your body. You are going to have a wrong concept about sex, marriage, man or woman, because that is an unforgettable event in your life. It has become a tree in your mind. And this is beautiful. The scientist said you can condition your mind and erase those trees and grow green, fresh trees. <laughs> Oh, scientists said it. No wonder the Bible says, be not conformed to this world, but be it transformed by the renewing of your mind. Now you know, 
Oh, the scripture is very... I excuse your ignorance because you only waited for signs to value God's word. I excuse your ignorance. The Bible says heaven and earth will pass away. Science will pass away. But God's word will endure forever. So when you put your faith on God's word, get ready. Those old dry barren trees of inferiority, bad memory, can be erased and a green fresh tree can be formed in your brain. And the Bible shows us how. Renewing okay. the mind. Renewing the mind. You know, if not that God showed us these kind of things, there are certain things I don't want to forget. Because for us, we think it is legitimate how they treated my mother so badly. I will never forget. You are doing yourself harm. Yes. Tell your friend, you are doing yourself harm. Yes. To memorize bad thoughts. Memorize bad thoughts. See, when we were going like that, they slapped my mother and a man came and spat on her. I remember it. I remember God's word. Remember God's word. Don't remember such pain. When you remember such pain, chemicals, it keeps going. It will secret around your body. And then, and then you think, oh, I don't know. My BP is like this. I know why your BP is like that. There is a switch for our human body. And that switch can be controlled by the key of love. When you decide to walk in love, I'm telling you, beautiful chemicals your brains will produce and it will secrete in your body. And people will be thinking, how is it that this woman is this amount of years old and she's not having wrinkles? Love is erasing the wrinkles. Are you there? No cream can be more reliable to make you look younger than the key of love. No cream like it. When you decide to walk in love, see, there are two, part, there are two sides in this life. How many sides? Two sides? There is negative side of life and there is positive side of life. I am not talking about positive thinking. I'm talking about good shepherd. Now, when you stay in the positive side of life, your life will be beautiful. But when you mix it, your life will be the color. Could be purple, <laughs> could be ash color. Only you know the colors that you're mixing. Say with me, I have resolved, I have resolved to, walk in love. to walk in love. I will walk in love, I will walk in love. whether it's easy, whether it is easy or whether it's hard. It hard. Amen. Amen. Nothing is impossible with God, right? Yes. These are the discoveries of the capacity of the human brain the human brain some of you thought you are not smart enough now you have to forgive yourself because the capacity of your brain is unveiled before you the brain has huge capacity and science made the statement that the human body is wired for love science made that statement that terminology they said the human body is wired for love. Now, when you see the diagram of the tissues of the human body, it really looks like lots of wires. How many of you have seen it? It looks like so many wires. Each one works at its best when your brain is conditioned to the limits of love. Each one of those nerves works at its best when your brain is limited to what? The key of love. God kind of love. It's beautiful. Are you here? It's so beautiful. <coughs> Knowing this, to walk outside of love is an invitation of your, your body to break down. You're inviting breakdown for your human body. Walk in love. Tell your friend. There's no multivitamins like it. It's people that are deceiving themselves. Eat green green environment their brain is not green see a brain that is not working in love put it in any environment 
it will die soon. Jesus said, it's inside that life comes from. Hello? Jesus said, reality comes from where? Inside. Out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. It's not green environment. Jesus didn't say, make your environment green, the man will be green. Nothing like that. You don't change a man from outside. You change a man from inside. If you want to change our environment, let's change our mind. No matter how green energy, which I like, I really like recycled energy, green energy, I like it a lot. I'm interested in it. No matter how we plan as earths and people of the earth for a green energy, until our mind becomes green, war will never stop. And that your green energy, you use it to war. Is it not true? The green environment should start where? The brain. Tell your friend, which color is your brain? <laughs> Yeah, no, because they're talking about green environment, right? So which color is our brain? So many people have red hot fire color there. And they want to make their environment? <laughs> Tell with me, you are deceiving yourself. <laughs> That's what. Plants everywhere green and your mind is like hellfire. <coughs> hot, burning. So whenever you decide to lament, you have decided to secrete negative chemicals. Whenever you decide to worry about your future, your wife, your children, you have decided to secrete what kind of chemical? Negative one. And science calls it, please don't forget, these are the professional words, toxic thoughts. What did, what did he say? Toxic thoughts. That's what science calls it. Thoughts that are like garbage. Thoughts that, um, that instead of helping, they destroy. What does the Bible say Satan comes to do? To steal, kill. And lots of the things that are happening this in your life. This concludes today's is not episode of Atmosphere of Love. It Praise the Lord. Thank he you has for done watching so. Atmosphere of Love. For more information, please visit our website www.ohoro.org or write us via email office at ohoro.org or call number plus 9181479087318731. Don't miss our next broadcast. Remember everything without love is nothing. Jesus is Lord.